I want to build myself three additional firework mortar racks for this year, so I thought that'd be the perfect opportunity to test the new design. I'm drawing inspiration from a milk crate rack, with it being able to hold a bunch of tubes in close proximity. But the safety sheet I get from Pyro Boom says never use a milk crate rack, they're extremely dangerous. I've actually tested one before, and I understand why. So I'm going to attempt to make a better design using some culvert pipe. I just got the message saying the pipe was delivered to the store, so I'll go pick it up and we'll go from there. Because of the length of tubes I use, I'm going to count over five ribs and cut in between the fifth and sixth rib. Because this pipe is so big, I'm using a reciprocating saw to cut it. When I cut it in half at the store, the end was pretty wavy, so I went ahead and made this really crude jig that's going to ride along those ribs, so hopefully it'll keep that blade straight and give a cleaner cut. The cut was better, but you could probably get similar results just by going slow. So this pipe is pretty big, but it's not the largest size they had. I settled on the 18 inch diameter because if this idea works, I want to have something that I'll actually want to use. But if the idea doesn't work, then I want to be able to find other uses for this pipe. So a closer look at the pipe, this is a dual wall culvert pipe. So it's not just the outside ribs, it actually has a smooth inside. Like I said before, this is 18 inches in diameter, and that's your measurement for the inside diameter. The outside diameter is more like 21 inches. I wasn't sure how many layers of plywood I wanted to use for a base, but I settled on four pieces. That's going to make the base about three inches thick, and it's also going to put the tubes to where they're just barely above the top rim.
To attach the pipe to the base, I'm just using six of these one inch screws. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like these yet. If they don't perform well, I might switch to a more structural option with these GRK screws. When I was in the middle of making this, I saw a video from King of Boom where he was walking around and showed some tubes that had bounced out of milk crate racks. So that made me want to test this design just a little bit more. In reading the comments, some people were saying it might be related to how tightly packed those tubes were. So I want to do two single shot tests, one where the tubes are tightly packed, another where the tubes are kind of loosely fitting, and see if that gives us any movement from the rest of the tubes. This will be the first normal test where those tubes are in there tight. I went ahead and removed one of the tubes. So this is gonna be a normal test where the tubes have a loose fit. Seeing that there was little to no movement from the rest of the tubes, it kind of makes me think those tubes getting launched out of the milk crates might just be the bottom of the crate flexing and then acting like a spring. Now I'll switch to stress testing this design. I'm firing these tests remotely because I don't want to be anywhere near this when these shells explode. This caused the tubes to bounce up a little. On the main side, there was a breakthrough of some hot material. And on the opposite side of that, the external wall was split. The most damage happened on the inside with a large split to the inside wall with smaller splits on either side of that. And here's what the damage looked like to the mortar tube itself. The force from this explosion caused those tubes to move up some, and there is a nice size dent to the side wall. And here's the damage to the mortar tube itself. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how this held up. For starters, the fact that I placed that first test in line with one of the screw holes and there was no separation. And secondly, having the culvert pipe pretty badly damaged from that first test and it still being able to withstand another test and hold those tubes in place, I thought that was pretty impressive. So after seeing these test results, I will be making three more of these for the 4th of July. They'll actually be in some future videos. A little side note, I was going to make some rope handles to carry these, but it turns out these ribs are actually pretty comfortable to grip, so those are going to be my handles. Let me know what you guys think about using culvert pipe for mortar racks. And like always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.